Yo, what's going on guys? Nizion here bringing you another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best MC business that you should buy in GTA Online. But before I get started with today's video, if you aren't new to the channel, hit the subscribe button as well as turn on notifications to keep updated with the quality gaming content under 10 minutes. And now let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So there are a lot of different MC Clubhouse businesses that you can go ahead and purchase. All of these businesses do work with your nightclub if you're trying to source or hire a technician to work for these businesses and work with that while you playing passively, you know, you're making income in the background. But in my opinion, the best MC Clubhouse businesses are probably going to have to be either the cocaine or the methamphetamine. Now, the reason why I say this is I know that they are expensive to purchase initially. They are around. 900 to 1.5 million dependent on the location and what type of business that you go ahead and purchase and if you upgrade your uh, cocaine business to the maximum with the employees as well as with the staff equipment and etc which does cost you an extra amount of money but I do believe that at this current time of me recording this video uh, they are on sale for the staff upgrades and etc so you could be able to take advantage of that right now and that's why I'm putting out this video because if you are uh, looking for AMC Clubhouse business I would go for the cocaine and methamphetamine now say for example you just purchased a MC Clubhouse uh, and you want to get a business that is around five to seven hundred thousand dollars I would probably go for even a weed uh, farm because of the fact that I know it isn't as profitable as a cocaine or methamphetamine lockups but you still do make money and if you own yourself a nightclub and you utilize uh, the technicians from the nightclub to work for your weed farm that'll actually be very good because as long as you're promoting and keeping your nightclub uh, updated then you'll be getting your staff and equipment for your weed farm as well so if you're looking for a more budgeted side of things I would go for a weed farm but if you are looking for a more uh, expensive but a more profitable business then I'd go for either the cocaine or methamphetamine obviously like I said before the cocaine lockup being the absolute best money-making uh, coke or MC clubhouse business sorry rather uh, in this game so if you you guys are looking for a business I would definitely look for a cocaine lockup that is the most profitable and in the second place it's gonna be methamphetamine and if you're just trying to budget and trying to go for a more affordable business than the weed farm obviously all three of these businesses with upgrades will perform much better than without upgrades so you also need to keep that in mind also, I know people that get a specific version of GT Online actually get themselves a free uh, document forgery business. And well, in my opinion, that is just no... Uh, not really worth putting your time and effort into that due to the fact that you just overall do not make money off it it's probably a waste of your time and effort putting in a lot of time and upgrades and etc into a document forgery rather you might as well get yourself a weed farm or something to just start off with actually making some sort of money so that's been it for today's video let me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on the GTA 5 remastered on the next generation of consoles and that's been it for today's video it's been your Bonizion. I'll be catching you all in my next video Goodbye.